Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Music Edition for the week of January 8th, 2018. This week we're talking Jay-Z, Justin Timberlake, Clutch, things and stuff are happening in the music world again, and we're gonna talk about it. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois, Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Yeah, generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Music news this week, we have we saw the release of the first single off of Justin Timberlake's next record. The album is going to be called Man of the Woods. Um, for those of you who don't know, I like all kinds of music. I know we usually talk about like metal things on the weekend nerddom, but I dig pretty much everything, I'm not going to lie. Justin Timberlake is one of those things. So the new record for him is Man of the Woods, like we just said, and its release date is February 2nd. This new single is called Filthy. And yeah, nowhere as good as the last two albums that he's done. I really hope this is the worst song on the record because if that's the case, it's cool, man. Because every record has a couple of non-winners, right? Everyone, there's there's some filler stuff on a lot of albums. Some albums are gold all the way through. Most aren't. Most have a handful of great stuff and a and another handful of mediocrity kind of peppered in between. Uh, this is easily the most mediocre pop song Justin Timberlake has ever put out as a single since going solo. Uh, not super stoked on this new record if it all sounds like this, but from the sounds of it, there's going to be a lot of different sound on this than he's put out previously. So maybe it's just an experimental record. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping he, there was a quote with him saying something. Uh, the reason it's called Man, and, Man of the Woods is because he's going back to his southern heritage. So there's going to be probably some kind of southern tone to it. Maybe even some blues, I would hope. Um, I, this is all speculation. He hasn't said specifically anything about the sound. Um, that's just me kind of crossing my fingers. So that's that. We're moving next to Jay-Z. Jay-Z also put out a new single this week. Uh, it might have just been the video. It might uh, The single might have come out before, but the video came out. Um, and it's for the song Family Feud off of his last record that came out at the beginning of 2017 uh, called 444 um, featuring his wife Beyonce. The video is really weird. <laughs> the song's solid. I, it, there's nothing necessarily wrong with the song. It's possibly one of Jay-Z's more bland uh, songs. But a bland Jay-Z song is still better than 98% of all the other hip-hop out there. So, I mean, you can't hate on the dude for that. But, I don't know. The video kind of detracted I, from the song, I feel like. There's nothing in this video that was like, oh, wow, my mind is blown. It was all just highfalutin, very over-glorified nonsense, really. It was quasi sci-fi so I appreciated that element of it but on the whole it was just it, it was called family feud so it's about a family feuding in the future with money and things that most people can't relate to um but yeah a decent song so whatever I, you can you can let that one go uh, next, we're talking about The Distillers. Yes, that one punk rock band that broke Tim, Armst Tim Armstrong's heart. Uh, maybe it wasn't the whole band. Maybe it was just their lead singer, Brody, who used to be married to Tim Armstrong, who is now married to Josh Homme from the Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, they Their last record was Coral Fang in 2003. So 14, 15 years ago. Wow, I'm old. Um, 
But it seems that the band has created a new Twitter account and are posting things on their Twitter. And uh, Brody, who's now going by her maiden name, Brody uh, Daly, Daly, uh, instead of Brody Armstrong like she used to, uh, is apparently mending fences with her other guitar player in that band, and maybe we're going to get some new music from them in 2018. Uh, that would be cool. I really dug the Distillers. Wasn't big on Spinneret and definitely wasn't really big on Brody's solo record, but Brody in the uh, Distillers is, is really good. Is like modern punk rock at one of its finer points, I'm not going to lie. Um, but then our last bit of news and the one that I am the most excited about this week is definitely Clutch, uh, the Southern rock, blues, metal, however you want to say it, those dudes down down in the South that call themselves Clutch are jumping into the studio in Nashville uh, to, uh, they just this week started recording. They have, uh, it sounds like they have approximately 20 or so, uh, song ideas that they're going to whittle down to a proper album. Um, this will be the follow up to their psychic warfare album, which came out in 2016 and it's coming out on their personal labor label, weather maker music. Um, super stoked. Uh, nothing that ever comes out of those guys is bad ever. <laughs> I don't know that, I, that they've done a bad record and they've been making music since the nineties. So, uh, yeah, super excited for Clutch. Definitely, if you are as excited about that or any of these other bits that we've talked about this week, let's talk about that in the comments down below. If there's something I've missed, definitely let me know. If there's something you want to talk about next week, let's talk about that in the comments down below. Uh, to continue the conversation even more, though, jump on over to generallynerdy.net. That is the place where I post more information there's links to the social medias there's blogs there's videos there's other things to interact with to continue this conversation uh comic-con announcements all kinds of things and if if you are so inclined you can also jump over to the patreon account patreon.com slash generally nerdy and you can jump on for just a dollar a month which helps me like you wouldn't believe, and then you get early access to all of these videos. Or if you want to give me more money, I'll give you more stuff. That's just how this, relationships work, this relationship works. Um, that being said, though, I really appreciate all of you nerds staying to the end and continuing this conversation with me. But before you go, I do, I do want to remind you to always, always remember if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.